The liberal establishment sold the American people a pig in a poke. I'll explain right after this. Before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you get notified every time we've posted a new video, which we do pretty regularly. Joe Biden refused to answer even the most basic of questions as to whether or not, for instance, he would destroy the independent judiciary by packing the Supreme Court. Sir, I've got to ask you about packing the courts. And I know that sure. you said yesterday you aren't going to answer the question until after the election. Huh. But this is the number one thing that I've been asked about from viewers uh, in the past couple of days. Well, you've been asked by the viewers who are probably Republicans who don't want me continuing to talk about what they're doing to the court right now. You didn't have a right to know whether or not he was going to pack the Supreme Court. But one thing is for sure, Joe Biden has said he's coming for your guns. If you own a gun that Joe Biden doesn't like and doesn't want you to have, he's going to take it from you. So to, to, to gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. You just don't get clearer than that. Joe Biden is going to take your guns. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal, period. The embracing of tyrannical anti-gun uh, zealots like Beto O'Rourke and uh, Kamala Harris confirms that this is his goal. Now, in the following video, uh, Liz Wheeler warns you what Biden and all of his pals out there will come for first. And that is, of course, America's most popular rifle, the AR-15, and the magazines that hold more than 10 rounds for those rifles. Maybe you don't remember this video, believe it or not. It's from just over one year ago, but this year has been so crazy, it kind of got lost in the shuffle. So I present to you today, Beto O'Rourke. Take a listen. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. Even though Beto lost the Senate race against Ted Cruz, and after that, even though Beto lost the Democratic presidential primary race, Beto's crazy comment is significant nonetheless, because Joe Biden said this. I'm going to guarantee you this is not the last year's seat of this guy. You're going to take care of the gun problem with me. You're going to be the one that leads this effort. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. We need you badly. The state needs you. The country needs you. You're the best. And remember, Joe Biden's vice presidential running mate, Kamala Harris herself, says she supports a mandatory gun buyback, which we all know is leftist speak for government confiscation of your guns. This is what she said, and I quote, we have to have a buyback program, and I support a mandatory gun buyback program. It's got to be smart. We got to do it the right way, but there are 5 million assault weapons at least. Some estimate as many as 10 million. And we're going to have to have smart public policy that's about taking those off the streets, but doing it the right way. End quote. And this anti-gun craziness is about to start, because Joe Biden plans to tax law-abiding American gun owners just for owning guns. And before any leftist denies what I'm about to say, you can see Biden's plan for yourself right here on his website. First of all, Joe Biden wants to ban the sale of AR-15s and ban magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. Keep in mind, there are 20 million AR-15s in the United States and approximately 150 million ammunition magazines in the US that hold more than 10 rounds. That means 20 million AR-15s and 150 million magazines would be penalized by Biden's gun tax. That really means the owners of the 20 million AR-15s and the 150 million magazines would be forced to pay the government for something they already legally own. And it's actually worse than that. Not only would you be charged $200 in so-called taxes for every AR-15 you own, which according to the Washington Free Beacon's calculations, means gun owners would be forced to pay the government $34 billion more in taxes. You will also be forced to register your firearm with the federal government just because you own it. Can you imagine? Your constitutionally protected right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Yet, Joe Biden plans to prohibit you from buying new AR-15s and tax you for owning the firearms you already legally own and make you register your firearms with the federal government for the crime of owning a weapon of self-defense. Funny, 
how the mainstream media and the left, who constantly claim our democracy is under attack, refuse to say a word when your Second Amendment rights are under fire. Since they won't tell you, I will. Future sales of AR-15 rifles will more than likely be banned. And as for the many millions of AR-15s and standard capacity magazines that are already in circulation, well, they'll either be confiscated in states like California that already require registration of such weapons or registered in those states that do not as of yet. Uh, and that's, of course, for future uh, confiscation. Uh, and financial penalties to the tune of $200 in taxes per gun will be leveled against you, the uh, otherwise law-abiding gun owner. So my advice to you uh, is if you already have a gun that is not registered, let's say maybe you inherited one, one was passed down to you by your grandfather or something, do not register it, whatever you do. If it's not registered, keep it that way. If where you live, you can still buy firearms without register. I mean, any firearms without registration, buy them. Buy as many as you can. Most likely that's going to be long guns. Buy as many as you can afford. And as I used to say in commercials that I produced for a uh, local gun shop here in Bakersfield years ago, buy them cheap and bury them deep. And by that, I mean bury them in the backyard where nobody's going to find them. God bless America and death to the new world order. And keep your powder dry. This is Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot, and I'll see you. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video. Subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. God bless America and death to the new world order.